the older generation, I would say, are much more focused on a local level um, in a more traditional way, you know, of addressing local issues, whereas I think the younger generation is more interested in doing something about some of the issues in the community, but also about the larger issues in the world that are influencing these local issues. Um, and they don't want to just talk about it, they want to do something about it. So having a service project and achieving a goal is, at the end of the day, let's say if you, if you were having a, um, a drive to collect clothing and toiletries for the homeless, if they achieve a certain goal, that engages them more in coming back to do more service projects. Um, and that's the way they're, you know, IAG is specifically having a conversation around interfaith issues, but also, or issues in the community, but looking at it through an interfaith lens. When youth come and get involved in a, like let's say the Interfaith Youth Action Group, they're already at a point where they have realized that they are maybe in a struggle with, within themselves about their faith community or who they are as a person. Um, and they're connecting with an interfaith program to see what faith has to offer. Um, so their involvement in an interfaith kind of a setting is their, it kind of speaks about their desire to learn about what good there is in, in the faith and what faith can do in terms of, let's say, service projects or having a dialogue with someone else. Um, I, you know, I've, I've seen powerful examples of youth just realizing that some of the stereotypes and, and assumptions they had of another faith were, were not true just based on being part of a service project. And so that, they, they come into it knowing that they're looking for something to challenge their, some of their beliefs that they're uncomfortable with. Um, you know, I think more often in the Unitarian Universalism, um, when I have youth come to me at UUCA, um, the church I work at, um, about some faith issues, I, I tend to cater to them in a way that's different. Um, instead of, you know, encouraging them to be part of the youth group, if they don't want to be a part of the youth group, I'm not going to force them or pressure them, or, you know, into it. Um, I try to work with them to do their own project that they'd be interested in um, in a way that could engage the community and them. Um, I try to encourage them to maybe apply for some conference I know of that will help um, raise their awareness of who they are. I really think that um, instead of just seeing, saying that they'll get over it, just encourage them and challenge them to address what they're feeling um, in a setting that will allow them to explore who they are.